Hey guys, Callum here. Just wanted to share with you my latest GPT related project. First off, a quick background. So I've got a blog called ttreasury.com. It's just a Next.js project with a bunch of markdown files. Each markdown file represents a blog post. It's got some front matter at the start and then the blog post content underneath. I can quickly show you what it looks like. Here's the homepage. Don't mind the design. It was designed by ChatGPT as well. I can have a look at the blog post, pretty cool. The issue I've got though, is I actually don't know anything about T. I only bought this domain a few years ago because I wanted to do some sort of drop shipping operation. It never really got off the ground, but I do think it's a cool domain. So I wanted to use it for something cool. Now, since I don't know anything about T, that's where GPT comes in. So I've got this other project here called the GPT Auto Blog Writer, which is public and I will link to in this video. Uh, let me show you how it works. I'll open up this function here. So it's an Azure function that runs every eight hours. Obviously you could update that to whatever you want it to. And it just clones the repository that you point it to. And then it adds a new blog post file to that repository. The way it does that is through this prompt here. I left my prompt in so you can see what I did, but obviously you will need to update this to match your requirements. Otherwise you'll get a post about T. Then it just creates a new branch stage commit and pushes the new file that it's created and opens up a pull request. So we can have a look at this pull request that it created added a new blog post. I can look at the file that it changed like that. Also if, or in my case, I am using uh, Vercel, so I can actually visit the preview like that and get a preview of what my new blog post looks like. I think it was this one here, the benefits and drawbacks of adding milk to your tea. And I can review that post there, looks pretty good. So once I finish reviewing it, I can merge it like that. And now it's going to go live to production. And this is going to happen every eight hours. I'm going to get a new blog post about T. So pretty exciting in, in this case, obviously it's just an example, but I think you could imagine what sorts of things you could do with this. Uh, I look forward to hearing about your ideas in the comments below. Have a good day.